While researching the Tobrita chicken rice stalls, I realized that in my 17-month journey with Seflui.com, I have rarely sampled any G fan places. Katong Meiwei had the highest Google ratings. But we had already covered it. The next spot was OK Chicken Rice Humphul Loksa, located within 721 Foot Loft Coffee Shop at On Misery Kyo Avenue 8, right in my neighborhood. This particular chain is halal certified and has four other branches around Singapore. But it was the Ong Mo Kyo outlet that garnered a total of 444 reviews and received 4.5 stars out of 5 on Google reviews at time of writing. According to my Muslim friend, Hanafi, there are two distinct styles of halal chicken rice. One stays true to the Chinese tradition, served with dark soya sauce, while the other places its emphasis on crispy fried chicken, accompanied by a spicier chili sauce. The menu had fancier options like char siu, chicken rice, three Singapore dollars and fifty cents, and fabulous cutlet chicken, rice, three Singapore dollars and fifty cents. However, I remained committed to simplicity and opted for the small roast chicken, rice for Singapore dollars. It was a no-frills plate of half a dozen chopped roast chicken pieces, yes, I counted them resting atop a mound of rice and three cucumber slices. While awaiting my dish, I helped myself to the chili sauce and dark soya placed at the front of the stall. Digging into the rice with my spoon, I appreciated the pleasing aroma of each distinct grain that was infused with the lovely essence of chicken fat and ginger. The rice was well seasoned. Maintaining a delectable balance, without an excessive oiliness, providing a more guilt-free experience. My only criticism, it didn't quite reach the perfect level of doneness. With a few grains, maintaining a slightly firmer texture than what I would have. The roast chicken, on the other hand, had won me over. Its tasty, golden brown skin cradled the succulent and tender meat within. As I dunked my chicken pieces into the chili sauce, an intense surge of garlic and savory flavors engulfed my palate before the heat slowly crept in. It was an unexpected sensory explosion. Intrigued, I attempted a second dip. I came to a conclusion that the chili sauce leaned slightly towards the salter side. While I appreciated the robust garlic infusion, I wished for subtle notes of zestiness to balance out the overall flavor profile. Fortunately, what I had initially thought to be ordinary cucumber pieces turned out to be pickled cucumbers instead, which provided tiny bursts of vinegary goodness. The standard steamed chicken rice, five Singapore dollars boasted a heftier portion of rice and a more generous serving of chicken. The steamed chicken exhibited a slightly more juicy and tender texture in comparison to its roasted counterpart. The skin was notably lean, without the thick layers of fat that may be unappealing to some. Now, let me share with you the way I eat chicken rice. I generously drizzle the dark soya sauce all over my plate together with the chili sauce, then give it a really good mix until every ingredient becomes a sexy light chocolate shade. And as I did this, my colleague, Joey, looked on intensely I'm unsure if she was disgusted or intrigued. My dad does the exact same thing, she exclaimed. Well, uncle, it seems we both appreciate the finer things in life flips hair. The chicken rice exuded a delightful aroma of dark soya sauce with subtle notes of spiciness from the chili creating a harmonious accompaniment to the tender chicken pieces. Yet, my disappointment returned as I encountered pockets of undercooked rice in my plate, what a bummer. You can also opt for a bento abscise plus S$3 which includes two slices of tofu. Half a braised egg and green veggies. I had no issues with the braised egg and tofu, which tasted like how they should. The green veggies were topped with crispy fried shallots and slightly seasoned with flavoured oil. I enjoyed the plainness of the green veggies, although Joey 
preferred it to be more flavorful. To be frank, OK Chicken, Rice Humphul Loxi, left me slightly underwhelmed. Perhaps the chef had a minor hiccup in the rice preparation. All in all, it was a satisfactory meal, but it didn't leave a lasting impression. It serves as a reminder that taste is a subjective matter and is always wise to take reviews with a grain of salt. Including my own. If you do decide to give this stall a try, I hope the rice will be flawlessly prepared for your enjoyment.